Hi again. My name is Fathom, and I am the founder of Other Fiber Creations. Today, for our video, I'm going to be following someone else's pattern. This is from Morale Fiber. It is their Lotus Mandala Duster, specifically the hooded version of it. I'm pulling it up to make sure I'm saying the right words. Uh, yes, the Lotus Hooded Duster. I like this pattern. I've done about half of it. I have one in progress, but I wanted to make another one for my shop and kind of take you guys along with the process that I do in general for making stuff. So, step one, I've done kind of off-camera-ish, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. My first step is I grab a color palette worth of yarn and kind of put it all together and see what I like and don't like. So let's go ahead and look at what we have here. I have this messy cake. We've got some blues, some greens, some very faint purple streaks here. It's an acrylic weight four, weight three, somewhere in there. This little weight three ball of a white, green, blue uh, variegated yarn. Another acrylic feeling one. This is the one I have to show you that I'm trying to base this color palette off of because I need a use for it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. This is the inspiration. It has these pink streaks that kind of fade into purplish into blue. So we have lots of this blue. We have some white in here. And we have this kind of springy green. This is the inspiration piece. It is another weight for acrylic. I think it'll be a nice base color. I think it'll kind of tie everything together. That's the hope with this. When I saw that color, it made me think of this yarn that I got donated. I'm going to be very delicate with it, and I'm going to sanitize my hands right afterwards. Because this is wool, and I'm allergic. It has this bright teal. It has some kind of terracotta, some uh, deeper pink, some gray. And I feel like this... And this would be kind of cool in that kind of crafty, scrappy, duster look. So I think that one's going to go in. I don't think I'm going to use every single color I've pulled for this. I just think it's good to have the colors pulled, and then I can kind of cool out what I don't think is going to fit. I have this. This is the Red Heart Amigurumi Each One Makes Two set. It's got this pink, some black, the greens. I'm not sure about this one. So, I agree it has the pinks and greens, but I'm not sure about the black in it. I honestly don't think I'm gonna even get that far. So, I may keep this in for now, but I may not instinctively reach for it. I also think I'll start from the outside versus starting from the inside because the inside will hit the black sooner than if I start from the outside. That's just my thoughts on this color. We also have this. I'm not exactly sure about this one. It seemingly has some other colors underneath this kind of sagey green, but I'm not sure how I feel about the sage green with the rest of the colors I've picked so far. I'm probably not going to use this. I've pulled it because I'm like, ooh, green. But I don't think it's going to tie in the way I'm hoping it will. So I think this is going to go off to the side. This. This is a partial skein of Pound of Love from Lion Brand. I don't remember what color. I have gotten like 10 cakes of Pound of Love in a variety of colors. Like a goldenrod color, a la uh, lavender lilac-ish color, the spring green, a uh, blue jean-ish color, a uh, pastel yellow. I've gotten lots of different colors of Pound of Love. And I'm not the biggest Pound of Love fan on its own. I have a pair of pants I made out of Pound of Love, which I'm sure you're like, why the heck would you make acrylic pants? It's a LARP thing. I plan to show you guys in a video, if I haven't shown you guys in a video that went up before this. I'm filming this 
very beginning of October because I need to have a lot of stuff done for October. So we'll see what happens. But I've made a few projects out of it. It's okay. It pills a lot. It has that kind of fuzzy halo to it. Not my biggest love in the world, but this project I'm making very scrappy in design, so hopefully this color will help us with that. I think it fits. It stays. Ooh, this is a fun one. So I know what this is without the label and everything, based off of this green in the middle. So there was a time with Lion Brand. I don't know if they still have it, but they had a partnership with Crayola. Uh, they had these skeins of yarn that were made for you. Each skein, you could actually crochet using the pattern to make a crayon scarf. Crayon? Crayon. You understand the word I'm saying. It literally made the long shape with the pointed tip as a scarf. Or as a tapestry, depending on what you prefer. I thought they were really cute. I got donated a couple skeins of it. I've used bits and pieces of this in order to make uh, vines and leaves and things. But I think this would be a nice way to tie in that kind of darker green we looked at earlier. And it's just a wait for acrylic. I got a little bit of it left. I think it's perfectly fine to use. This. This is, I think, a cake and a half of just my stripe. It's another Lion brand, wait for acrylic. They come in these really small cakes that are hard to do much with. But we have some beautiful darker pinks, kind of like our woolly friend. We have the lighter blues. I think this will be a great way to tie those two colorways together to make sure they both can get used. So this one's definitely staying. We have this Wait For Acrylic. This is the same brand and same type as this one, just a solid color one. So I think those will go together pretty well. So I think this one can stay. And this is our last skein. Uh, I'm looking to see if I can describe it. Okay, cool. This is a partial skein of Lion Brand Terry Spun. Let me get the fuzz out of there. It is a weight 5, according to the label. It is 100% polyester. The point of it is that you work with it and the halo, the fuzz on it, makes this really fluffy piece. On my shop, there are multiple cardigans made out of this stuff. I really enjoy getting to work with it. I have trouble kind of working tight into stitches with it because I have trouble kind of feeling where the stitches are because of the amount of fluff. But I think this will be a great kind of texture color that kind of still ties in with the other colors we've picked here. I don't know what else I was going to say besides I think this color is going to work. So I think all of the colors I've pulled out worked except for our weird friend here. Because I just grabbed stuff. I'm usually pretty good about my color palettes. So with that, I think we're going to just go to town making this duster. So let's get to it. that I'm doing right now. Let's do a little slip stitch. Boom. So we have our interior set right here. I chose to go with this kind of pastel color because I'm hoping it will not be too busy in the center, but that it will still kind of complement everything that's going to go around it. I'm feeling pretty good about this color scheme the more I kind of sit and look at it. My hope is to do green and then this is the next couple of rounds. I think it'll be good. Uh, from what I can tell, this works best for me when I do about six rounds per color. 
gives us a nice thick piece while still being a nice complimentary set. I really enjoy this pattern. The look of it is really nice. Uh, it feels very fantasy and that's what I like to make is this fantasy inspired stuff. So with this being done, we're going to go ahead and switch over. I am exhausted. It's been a long week in general. It is a Sunday that I'm filming this. But I'm going to make it work. And hopefully we'll get this done and I can post this at some point in October still. Fingers crossed. Let's get back to it so I can try and do that. Pew pew pew. It is the next day. I'm being kind of quiet because my roommate's asleep upstairs. Uh, it's her day off. So I'm trying to let her sleep in as much as possible. So I worked for a bit yesterday. I got about six-ish rounds in. Like you guys saw the check-in. And then I remembered I had told my boyfriend I was gonna take a day off. And me filming is in fact working. So I stopped working then and I picked it back up today. We are 14 rows in, which I think is not that bad. Uh, I think the total pattern is 40-ish rows, four zero, so that's not bad at all. I'm feeling okay about the color selection so far. Uh, the project's upstairs, so I can't really show it to you right now. You'll see it as I'm working. At first, when I made it, I was like, I want this kind of subtle middle where it kind of explodes into color as I go. But now it's feeling like almost boring in the center. Like that center of the Lotus Mandala is, eh? I think it'll be okay and then I'll end up liking it in the end. I think it's just kind of that, I gotta trust the process and hope that it looks the way I'm hoping for it to. I'm sure when I show other people, they're gonna be like, wow, that looks amazing. But we'll see what happens. For now, I'm gonna go work out a little bit. Yes, I work out in my skirt. Deal with it. It has been a few days, I think like three days since we last checked in. I've had some other stuff in life come up because of course it does always, but 
I have made significant progress, which I think you guys saw some of. Right now, in my hands, we are working on the hood for this duster, which I think is going to look really good. I know last time we checked in, I had mentioned not being sure about it. I think now that I've tied in some of the darker colors, it makes that light color interior pop more, and I am significantly less worried about how it's going to turn out. I think it's going to look really good. I showed it to my roommate. Uh, she's always been someone I enjoy showing things to because she has a very different perspective than I do. And her immediate comment was, Oh, it looks like an elf with purple hair. I asked for clarification and she's like, You see it, don't you? And she held it up to me and I was like, I guess? And she's like, No, it literally looks like an elf face. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Let me finish this thing. I have to count. Oh, there we go. But she showed it to me. She held it up to me. And she's like, you see it, don't you? It's just right there in the open. It's an elf face. And I did not, in fact, see it. But this is where we were at. Like I said, the kind of darker colors around the border now have really made this interior pop a bit more, which I'm very pleased with. This color and this color are the ones I'm making the hood out of to kind of tie it back in. We are 22 rounds in. I'm turning it so you can see the inside. I need to weave in some ends still. And the trick is with this pattern is that you work 22 rounds of like the 40-ish it takes. Then I come up here up top and I'll crochet on the hood along this line and then instead of just continuing around like this part like you would think I would do instead I crochet around the entire thing this included to extend the edge of the hood to make it long enough to kind of go over the entire face I think it's gonna be a very fun time I'm hoping to now that we have the gray in there I think I actually might use the black as well I think I might use this as the next color after I kind of get everything attached. All in all, I'm feeling pretty good about it, but we're checking in right now because I'm about to go to a LARP tomorrow night, which means I'm not going to have much time to work on this. And then I have a trip with my boyfriend right after that. Like, literally, it's LARP a day where I have company over. We leave for about a week. So it's going to be kind of on hold for a little bit which I think is okay. It happens. And luckily for you guys, it'll be a matter of literal seconds. I had almost said minutes and had to stop myself there. Literal seconds. And I'll be back to working on this. For me, I'm going to kind of take a few days away from it. And yeah, let's see where this goes, shall we? Okay, so my throat stings a little bit, so excuse me if my talking is not the best. I don't have COVID, I was exposed to it, but more so it seems like I've caught a cold, the flu, or just how dry the air is is really messing up my throat. My hard palate kind of burns, but that's not the point. The point is, since I was exposed to COVID, 
Uh, and since my boyfriend is the one who exposed me to COVID, I didn't end up going on the trip with him. So, I've been taking today and kind of refocusing work on this. I took a few days to rest a bit in case I did have anything, but I've taken four tests now this week and I've tested all negative somehow, shockingly. Uh, I just finished the new Star Kid musical. I'm working a little bit later than usual tonight, that's okay. And this is like row 35, 36 ish. So I'm getting really close somehow. I'm feeling really confident about all these colors kind of working together. I hadn't been positive at first. But the more I've kind of sat with it, the more I'm like, I could see like a spring elf wearing this. Somebody going to a warm weather ren fair trying to kind of be like a springy spirit, I could see wearing this. And that is the goal. I like to see my pieces worn by people who have kind of a vision for what they're going for. A lot of my outfits are very autumnal, very boho chic, uh, anarchist, which, uh, as my boyfriend points out, I am his little communist, teehee. So, I kind of have that sort of put-together look going for me. And I try to make pieces that I could see someone who's similar to me, but isn't me wearing. And I think I've really pulled this one off. I'm planning to finish this round, which I only have this much left to do. And then I'm going to take a break for the night. And work all day tomorrow, too. I'm hoping, if I do that, I will finish. I don't know if I will, but that is the hope. I'll keep occasionally taking a cough drop if the burning gets too bad. Maybe a pain med. We'll see. Probably when I go to bed. I'll keep my humidifier running. I'll keep chugging water. I've had like six of these today alone. And I will make it work. And hopefully, by the time I finish... Oh my god, please go back in. <laughs> by the time I finish... I'll be able to actually talk about what I think of it, my design for it, all that jazz. Because it'd suck if I lose my voice and then can't really finish filming the voiceover for this. So, I'm gonna go finish this now. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow evening, or when I finish it. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Pew, pew, pew. It is done. We're both gonna agree right now to ignore what a mess my space is for this. So off the bat, I've not weaved in the ends. I'll get there.
So when I show you the close-up footage, you're not going to judge me for that. I just was excited that I finished. I went ahead and did this last row is some fluffy yarn. Because, duh, who doesn't like a little trim? Overall, I am feeling pretty good about this piece, actually. I'm really loving how the colors turned out. It's nice and warm, but also not like crazy hot, so to speak. The coloration is very much springtime, which it's going into late fall, early winter time here. So what a good fit. Ooh. <laughs> um, one thing I was not expecting when working on this was how the hood turned out. So as you can see, it goes over the face entirely. I knew it was going to be big based off of the pattern design, but holy crap, it is huge. But the fun thing is that because of the mesh, I can actually see through this. I can actually be a faceless person that's kind of flowery. I can see like a forest elf wearing this. And it conceals my identity either way. Yeah. <laughs> While I show you all some close-ups of some of the stitch work that I did, I'm going to take this moment to remind you to go look at Morale Fiber. You can look it up on Google or on Etsy or Ravelry, and you should be able to find their patterns. I totally recommend going and looking at their stuff because it is wonderful, it is fantasy inspired, and I really enjoyed making this pattern. So yeah, enjoy the close-up stitch work that I did. All in all, I'm feeling really good about this. I do think I'm gonna list it for sale. I wasn't positive about the colors I picked. I wasn't sure about the design. I loved the design that they did, but I wasn't sure about my skill with it. I wasn't sure about the hood, about the mixing mediums, but I am very proud of this one. It took me about a week worth of work days. It's got a nice swoosh. In all in all, I would make this again. I'm going to make this again. I have one halfway done. <laughs> but I think pocket, pocket. I think that this is a good place to kind of let off for now. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support me, you can go visit my Etsy or my Square down in the description. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. Today, how about you tell me if you could be a fantasy creature, what would you be? That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.